Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Today we're dynoing a uh, big block Chevrolet for Mike Bradley. Now Mike uh, already had this motor, or already had a motor built uh, with an F2 and was doing blow through methanol which uh, in certain only limited applications do I even recommend that. I'm usually very much uh, kind of opposed to it but uh, um, depending on the application. Uh, but for this, we put it on uh, EFI, so this has a, you know one of our Holly systems on it. Uh, we ended up changing the block and cylinder heads, basically changing almost everything in Mike's combination, um, because this was going to do what we did save was the F2 blower. Um, here he had the tube and everything uh, just set up for the carburetor hat, and uh, what we did was we just converted this thing over to EFI, um, our block crank rod piston cylinder head package. Uh, now this is a, one of our Brodex cylinder head packages and this has a Brodex aluminum block in it. Um, 572 cubic inches. So this is a large motor because what we're going to do is uh, somewhere down the road Mike is going to uh, probably put the bigger blower on it. So he built this so he can uh, not just for what it is right now because we can make this better with an F2 but uh, when we put the bigger blowers on them they're not going to be as good with a bigger blower on it. So we're going to uh, try to make this with, uh, or we will make this, uh, something that is easily upgradable. So this is methanol. You can see the mechanical pump driven down there. Uh, Mike already had all the F2 uh, bracketry and everything on his, on his old big block. Uh, now what you do see here is, uh, this is actually a restrictor bell because I screwed up and I did not have, in time for the dyno session, one of my standard bells done. We're going to show you the difference between the restrictor bell and no bell at all. But keep in mind, this is a restrictor bell. It's actually smaller. It meets the restriction rule of 3.875, uh, I think, uh, hole diameter. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, our uh, uh, Brodick cylinder head package or our valve train, uh, this has crowers on it, steel rockers, uh, our piston and rod package, and definitely our camshaft package. And once again, I mean, this was built for uh, is our higher horsepower package, a 2,500 horsepower deal uh, with aluminum block, and uh, going to be at some point in time upgraded into the bigger blower. But we help them use, help the customers use what they have at the time. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go out, we'll make a pull, we'll look at this thing, and uh, look at the numbers. As we can see here, um, now we are pulling back just a little bit short, but uh, with this motor and the F2, and Mike wants to get used to the motor uh, with the F2 on it. He already had the F2, like I said before, so it's uh, um, just it's a little bit of a compromise. So he'll be putting the F3 on it probably next year after he gets a handle on everything. Um, so that's why it's short on RPM uh, because we basically run the. Uh, run the blower right out of air because of the engine um, and I've talked about that in other other comments other videos but as you can see here um, still real good uh, 6700 Ryan pulled back just a little bit short 1997 um, you can see here in the graph that the uh, peak torque was right up here in that 60 uh, 6300 area um, and starts laying over so it was gonna start laying over here anyways but it probably would have made like 20 20 right around there um, 2010 2020 um, but that's still real nice looking numbers uh, especially for an f2 on this larger motor um, you know your 6,000 uh, rpm number is 1783 uh, 1561 you wanna bring up the uh, boost for me so I can tell them what boost numbers are and then uh, 5500 is 1574. Um, disregard this one because we're just monitoring boost through the holly and not through the uh, not through the dyno. And uh, all the way down at all the way down at uh, 5000 RPM is 1347. 
and 4,000 RPM is 906 horsepower, 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. So uh, close to uh, this car probably will leave off the brake in between 35 and 4. So that's pre you know pretty good numbers right there for F2 on methanol. Um, boost at uh, in that 5,000 RPM neighborhood was what? 5,000 was around 12 and a half. About 12 and a half. 6,000 RPM was. Oh, 19. 19 and 6,700 RPM. About 22. About 22 pounds of boost. So we're spinning the blower pretty pretty fast, but like I said, it's uh, it basically eats up the blower just because of the engine size. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you here was actually the difference in between the uh, F2 without a volute on it at all, and actually even our uh, restrictor volute. And what you can see right here, the thin line is the latest line, the pull that we just made, and the thick line is the previous pull with no bell on it at all. Um, you can see right here at uh, 6500, uh, that was 1867, and we are at 50, or 1958. So almost, uh, that's a uh, 89 horsepower increase uh, with a restrictor bell, not even the standard bell that we do. So we will be getting a standard bell done for Mike. Uh, we just that's the only thing we happen to have done right now but the uh, very good piece uh, the peak horsepower without the bell was 1894 and uh, 1997 with the bell but uh, all things said and done a uh, real nice piece uh, super happy with that and I think it has a lot of room to grow so uh, I'm Steve Morris Steve Morris engines have a great day